Hi, may we so appreciate that you accept our invitation to join our call and uh, say a couple words to support Ukrainian and uh, our country. You know, that, uh, it's really a hard time for us and for every Ukrainian who fighting for their freedom, for their country. Um, I'm so <laughs> appreciate that you helped me to contact me and uh, I'm just like can't say how you know we appreciate everything that you did well, and you continue to yeah well Lola the whole world is watching we are all horrified and sad we just completely sad and we feel helpless because how can we help more you know we've got as uh, as my publisher says we've got to close the skies but nobody is willing to do that no country and so um the bombs are coming from the air and we have to just watch that and remain horrified we are just horrified and and um i just think what the ukrainians are going through is so hard and um they you know when people say that they are they are refugees in different countries they to me they are not refugees they are evacuees they don't want to move to another country they are just going temporarily so that they while they you know with their children to be safe while the war is continuing and then they all want to come back so they're not really refugees looking for another country they are evacuees temporarily away from home and then they'll have to come back and rebuild it because those bombs are just destroying the buildings and killing the people and and we have to just watch helplessly on the tv yeah uh may i just want to thank you one more time you know we talk every single day about this and i just want to thank you again for because you you are making such an impact on this world just by modeling that you're writing a book that's in every country in the world right now including ukraine and uh i want to bring up some happy memories when we went to kiev and uh it was one of the best time of my life and i just kind of want to uh recall those memories and uh, just uh, ask you how do you remember that trip well it was like a magical trip i'd say we uh, had the best time uh, we met wonderful people they all were hard working charming um polite generous i mean i, I just everyone was lovely and these are the the ukrainian women mainly and men they were the men were wonderful too and um I, I we had a great time there and then then i was told asked to come back in february and so i said oh great i will be coming back and then i was told it's postponed till april and i'm saying because there could be a problem and i'm saying no how what i was there there's no problem and uh, and then it was postponed even longer and i'm saying oh come on i mean we can visit and now i see what they what they were afraid of is really happening and it's hard to imagine this is happening in modern day with all the atrocities being shown on tv but only the only place not seeing the tv would be russia they are blocked from seeing what's going on you know uh when you have been in ukraine did you notice that, that uh, ukrainians nationality as european and american people or they are different in some way what did you notice can you please share your like impressions uh, i think they were uh, well accomplished very accomplished and humble you know they weren't bragging about themselves canada and south africa you also were uh, you would be very accomplished but you still didn't talk about it but but now it's a good thing because there's there's social media that's still available in Ukraine because I'm getting I just got a um, a message from Galina Padalko who um uh, fr- she was in Kharkiv and she says her colleagues uh, have some friends who have been 
killed and their homes have been destroyed, but then it got much worse. And, um, and then she said, of course, they, they're bombing the maternity hospital today, but I've already posted that. And then she had, she had to make a hard decision because a, the, last night a rocket hit the building behind her and her neighbors died. Now, can you imagine that where you are now in America, that the building next to you was bombed and your neighbors were, were, were died? She says, life of all Ukrainians will never be the same again. Well, the rest of the world wants it to be the same again. So we have to have hope. And we have to uh, rebuild better than ever. But we have to get over this war. And hopefully, as I say, with the rest of the world and the countries supporting Ukraine, let's hope this will come to an end soon. Uh, she wants me to keep on um, hashtagging close the sky because it's really from the sky that that most of the damage is being done and then also I don't know how you stop uh, lies that are sh uh, shared with the Russian people because then they think the war is good when they hear the lies and uh, I don't know how you get to that media because I, today I saw in the news um, Somebody, a, a, a journalist, a TV announcer, has had to leave Russia and close down. And, and he was the last of the honest uh, TV announcers. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. A lot of people who were trying to stand for the truth in Russia, some of them left the country and some of them are in jail right now. Because, because they're just too afraid. They, yeah, 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 they're afraid, they're getting beat up on the streets, and there's absolutely no way to speak your truth and to know the truth, really. So that's very heartbreaking. But I think it's beautiful to see how the world is uniting for Ukraine, every single country supporting Ukraine. and um, Every single person that I met here, you know, in America, I never expect because when I came here and they were asking me where I'm from, I, w I, I was told that I'm from Ukraine and there, where is that? Somewhere close to Russia? This is part of Russia. Like, no, no, we are an independent country. We are the biggest in Europe, you know, like, and they, okay. And right now, I guess every American even know where is Kharkiv, yeah. you know, <laughs> not just Yeah, Ukraine. they know where everything it's... is. And the funny thing is I had uh, four years ago in 2017, I gave a talk for Marie Claire magazine, Ukraine, and I was in Kiev as well and it was just absolutely wonderful and sometimes I think I want to post those wonderful times in Kiev but it's just too sad a time to post fabulousness you know and uh, because that's how Kiev was it was just absolutely wonderful and the people and the food and and the kindness it was just um, wonderful it, it will come back I, I do feel that way because, um, as I say, the world is on the side of the Ukrainians. And so then I did know where Ukraine was. And, um, but you know what surprised me was that Elon jumped in right away to supply satellite service. Um, he hasn't, I don't think he's been to Ukraine, but, um, but uh, then he just immediately, he believes in what is fair. And what is fair is that the Ukrainians should have internet service. I had no idea that his satellites could zoom in on one country, but he delivered those terminals so that people can get service. Very proud of him. And then President Zelens Zelensky spoke to him and thanked him. And that was incredible too. And invited him to Ukraine, which is wonderful. And then Kimball, of course, on his own, just posted with sunflowers, you know, to support Ukraine. And then Tosca, my daughter, she has a, a fundraiser that you can link to, uh, a Ukrainian one, uh, for people to support Ukraine. So um, my three children are really kind, generous, and they do the right thing. And I'm very proud of them.
thank you for your kids. You know, me as a mother, I know how it's hard to raise, uh, you know, a good personality in our kids. But I guess you shared with, the, with them, I guess, the best, you know, that you had and that they can like share right now with the world. Yeah, that's uh, they do the right thing. Yes, it's really beautiful how your whole family supports Ukraine and you every single one of you did it in your own way however they wanted to pursue that and it's you know how we always talk they all do different things and they even show their support in different ways right and it's and it comes into this beautiful and very impactful uh support of uh, what mm. we're going through I saw the fundraiser on Tosca's uh, page and it really moved me because I I believe her fun, uh, fundraiser link was for uh, children to support children and the mothers who s are suffering so much and there are some women that are fighting. Divided from their like parents and yeah. from their like husbands. It's so hard to go through it's everything so yeah, and m mentally and physically. Yeah. You know, and I, I believe some of the uh, women joined the military as well, right? Of course, of course. Yeah. Many Tosca is always, she's such a great mother. Actually, her twins turned nine yesterday. And uh, she's such a good mother. And the thought of having to run away with her children to survive is beyond what you can imagine. And so I'm so happy. As I say, I never even mentioned to my children what I'm doing. And they are way ahead of me even because they feel so strongly about um, people, the fairness in the world. And, um, and they want to stop the war. I mean, to stop that war. And I'm wearing this um, sh um, blouse that, that Galina gave me when I, when, when I, had, I was in uh, Kiev. Uh, I think, Anna, you have a photo of her giving it to me. Yes, I do. I do. I'll send it to, to you guys. It's, uh, it's really amazing. It's, you mm. look very Ukrainian, May. Thank <laughs> you. Look you. Very Ukrainian. <laughs> it's a very beautiful outfit. And I want to say that uh, eight years ago, when we had our first, you know, like, or I better to say second revolution <laughs> in the last 20 years, uh, of um, talented people were able to show uh, what they are going to share with the world and we have so many talented designers you know entrepreneurs IT specialists and we would like to share it with the world as soon as it will be possible as soon as it will be peace in Ukraine and I believe that we will rebuild and will like uh, build Ukraine even better, will make Ukraine even better than it was before. Yes, I think so. I really feel confident about that. But I, I, you're still going to go through so much sadness and horror. It's really horror what's happening. And um, yeah, you, you're going to have to then rebuild. As I say, you know, when I watch war movies on television, then I say, Okay, so people did rebuild after the war, but the war itself is just a horror show. It's just, you would think once you've seen it on television, you never want it to happen again. And, and yet now it's, it's happening in real time. And uh, it's just, no, the world can't believe this, but at least they're all stepping in. Yeah, we will hope that world will be able to support us in a right way and will help us to win this war and to stop this war. Thank May, you. May, thank you so much for your support. It means it means the world to Ukraine, it means the world to the women. It who brings are there. a lot of hope to our, yeah. our you know nation for every people uh, for every person you know like all the support uh, it means so you know like huge impact on us and on our hope well thank you very much for inviting me because uh, you know I, I'm just so happy that I can just share my thoughts so that you can share it as well and and I really think that Ukraine is the people are so brave, the men and women, the women who are fighting are so brave that you will not give up. And, and that's what makes you so strong. And that's why I'm so happy to say a few words. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much, much for joining me. us today. 
Thank, Thank you. you.